Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first week of the Team Paradigm Invitational. I'm, I'll be your host, Tamaker. Uh, joining me today is Blue. No, hold on just one second, guys. Having an issue already. Here we go. Uh, go ahead and unmute your mic there, Blue. Um, today we have eight teams uh, duking it out to try to get as many points as they can. I hope I didn't mute you now. Hold on, let me uh, let me recall him real quick. Sorry about the technical difficulties, folks. Either way, uh, I believe that. All right, are you there, Blue? Yeah, I'm here. Excellent, excellent. Let me make what sure the. Uh, I don't I don't know what happened. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even realize the call dropped because it was D and D. Actually, I don't need to be on D and D. All right, but today we have uh, eight teams all duking it out. Is this is not your standard type of format that we've uh, been traditionally seeing in the past few weekends for the tournaments. This is uh, an invitational style. What we what you try to do is uh, get as many points as you can through fighting each opponent team. Uh, you literally have a chance to fight every other team in the tournament, and and that allows you to uh, get get many more more games overall rather than just you have your one shot, one or two shots at, at uh, your progressing and advancing. This is uh, much more consistent over the long haul. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how this proceeds. I'm excited to see. Um, how are you today, Blue? Uh, I'm doing okay. <laughs> Good, man. If my, if my computer was cooperating with me, I'd be a lot better. But Right on. Doing well, fine for the moment. Excellent. Well, I'm glad you're doing well. As I said uh, earlier, uh, Grouch is actually supposed to be the other caster, but he was unable to make it today, so we are actually uh, filled in by Blue today. And also, I believe you are going to be filling me in next week because I will be out of town, correct? Yep. Excellent. Excellent. Well, uh, thank you very much for filling in both occasions. We do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I do believe we are getting the teams ready here. Let me uh, double check on the progress here. It looks like we have both teams in and almost ready. The first match we are seeing today will be Team Paradigm versus Seal Clubbers. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly, indeed. Uh, now, again, this is a best of two. This is not a best of three, as in if you lose... Oh, the match starts soon. Uh, this, this, this type of... Uh, this type of tournament is, is very different. It's only best of two. A win actually gets you... Uh, a point uh, if if your team if both teams win. Uh, we'll go over the scoring in just a minute. Let's take a look at our split here. Alrighty, it looks as though we're gonna be having a red team. Actually, seems to be taking a pretty uh pretty risky route here. They're not gonna they're only gonna send one to their close point, and they are gonna have the both the rangers are gonna be fighting here on the quarry point. So that is gonna stop them from initially capping that quarry. Meanwhile, on on the waterfall, blue team's thief will have that uncontested. Over here to the middle, we do have the fight erupting there now. Ooh, Electrohex just about get down just by the initial spike, but he is an elementalist able to escape, disengage, get his water heals back up. He gets out of the fight to uh, get enough heals. I was actually quite surprised he managed to survive that considering he's, uh, he's more of an offensive elementalist there. Running with Dagger Dagger and seem to be seemingly more offensive traits. But good job on his part surviving that. Indeed. We'll have to go over the build at least a little bit real quick and briefly before uh, the next match starts. We just hopped into it today. Taking a look at back at Electro Hex. Just about downed again back on mid, but he is unable to get the spike from uh, Team Paradigm, so he is disengaging. Getting back away. Just about get him down. Zeph is right on his tail. Teleports to him and then he gets him down. He is, is just about to get the, the stomp here. Taking a look at Nipusan here at Waterfall. Getting forced off the point. Tello forces him away. Looks like they are going to actually get the first capture of the game. Uh, Team Paradigm, Sir Teldo. Yeah, it, it, General Teldo is going to win most of those one on one node fights. It's, what, it's pretty much what his build is made for is just winning those node fights. So no surprise there that he's going to take that first team fight and force whoever he was going against off that point. He's sort of trademarked for that kind of style. It looks like uh, Seal Clubber's Thief actually goes down, but he gets down on the point. He, did, he does get a rally, but it is uh, an illusion of life, so he does have just about 10 more seconds for, their t for his team to get something going as far as stop, but he does lose another, uh, another member is down. Looks like he's about to go down as well. Nice evades, but it doesn't really matter. His illusion of life expires, and he does go down as well. Oof. Ooh, Zeph that, went that, down yeah, with that insta that rally. Great rally there with the, with the stomp. Yeah, it was amazing time. Both Oops. players for Steel Clubbers do go down. 
We see Nia, Naya fighting uh, against Sabalik over here on Quarry. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to make too much happen over here. Now, it looks like Electro Hex is actually going to bail out of here. I'm pretty sure Seal Clubber is sort of somewhat realized, like, okay, we're probably not going to get this mid-fight. Um, so he's, he's actually sort of moving around, not really leaving the fight, but sort of trying to keep himself out of the way, rather. Um, but, uh, looks, yeah, it actually looks like they're going to re-engage middle. I was somewhat surprised. I thought they were going to move the fight over to Quarry, but it looks like they're going to keep it in middle for now. Yeah, he was definitely doing a good job of distracting Phantom keeping him away from uh, utilizing the abilities. Uh, definitely utilizing the, the own mobility of the Elementalist class. Wow, great! Oh my gosh, nice. they're going to get a res there. Beautiful play. Great coordinated teamwork on the res. Good job on mid. Excellent job by both teams there. And it looks like... Gonna... Oh, Phantom and Zeph just got hit by a pretty hefty burst combo there. Zeph is actually out and Phantom had to bail out of there. That was a nice burst combo, I believe, by uh, the Thief, uh, by Third Date and Nepusan there with excellent chaining of that. It's now only a Sheen from Team Paradigm on this middle point now. He is going to pop his renewed focus pretty early here, actually. And, uh, well, we do have Teldo incoming now. He is going to have to leave Waterfall open because of that. So that is now open for a free cap. But Teldo's now in the fight, so it's going to get a lot more dangerous as Teldo is generally one of the most skilled players in this game at the moment. I would have to wholeheartedly agree. He's actually one of the most active streamers in the, in the Twitch community. He's definitely a, a great member of the community in general. Uh, very, very valuable supporter. We see Nia just we did goes down. We did actually see that decap happen here, Electro Hex. He's actually been doing this a lot, sort of checking the side points. It's a pretty nice job by him. Uh, so he sort of abused the fact that Teldo had to come in the middle and yeah. went back over there and decapped that point. So nice, nice job keeping an eye out there by Electro Hex. Sort of just keeping around what's going on. It looks like Team Team Paradigm is having a great job. Uh, they're doing it. Wow, Teldo with it. Uh, I think he actually used elixir. his he used elixir. elixir. Yeah. Uh, but that plus the the coordinator res there was a, a well placed effort. Teldo down again. But Phantom's there, ready for the res. Both teams being right on. Oh wow, they do get the stomp either way. But Team Paradigm is having a uh, a really good job doing a really good job holding down this initial game here. Uh, they, they've only been able to capture a point once or twice. Most of their points have just been through uh, wearing them out, through stomps and just a little bit of capture points. We see a, a portal go down. It looks like they are are they heading back to mid? Oh, two portals down. That, yeah, uh, I think for both a... teams, both okay. teams sort of took portals back. <laughs> it was sort of monkey see monkey do there. They didn't want to um, lose that midpoint because I don't believe mid's been capped this entire game. It's um, I've said this before a lot. Mid is sort of like 80% of the game. Uh, on this map, so if that if you lose that point, then you're gonna be in a really hard, rough position um, in terms of trying to come back. So you really don't want to lose that point yeah, because absolutely. it's extremely hard to uh, to recapture once you lose it. You do get the res on Zeph there. Good good coordinated effort. No cooldowns really used. Um, it, but I definitely agree. The the midpoint is incredibly pivotal, especially within this map with the extra large map. Uh, the point, it's 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 radius is very large compared to other points. So I feel like it's it's actually really that much harder to get back with that much body room to cover. Yeah, because you have to realize a lot of the AOE a lot of the AOE people like uh, elementalists and like bomb engineers like Teldo's running right now they really can't shine as well as they could on another map like Forest of Nifel because the point is a lot bigger. So it's a lot harder to sort of control your enemy team. Yeah, because a lot more room could, to cover. Because in the other maps you have to realize that you need to be fighting on that point a lot of the time. I mean you could have like one or two people standing away on the edges, but um on. But most of the time, it's not an option. You're always going to have to be fighting on that point, and because of that, um, because of that, those AOE classes generally tend to shine on the um, on the maps with smaller middle points. Zef goes down. And they're trying their hardest to beat DPS the body down. Oh, but it does look like they're trying very hard. Oh, Fanaray, I'm trying to get the res. Does get a little bit of the health back. He gets about halfway up, but they're still DPSing him down. This is going to be a churning earth coming Ooh, here. There it is. Yeah, yeah, it's going to hit Zef on the body down. It's gonna finish him off, unfortunately. Teldo over here on the waterfall is getting pretty low, but uh oh, Naya actually screwed up a bit there. He had his pet kill him. Uh, he didn't get to call him off in time, but that was a nice job by Naya. He tried to delay the kill, which you generally want to be doing against uh, engineers like that. If they throw down their elixir, you don't want to kill him immediately because most of the time you're not gonna have the DPS to counter the elixir. So it's generally a good idea to sort of delay your kill. Um, but Teldo and Naya are actually having a pretty good fight. It seems Naya's on the winning end of it actually right now, I mean, uh, surprisingly. Take a look over there. That does look like he is forcing him off the point. 
which is actually really pivotal pivotal for uh, the seal clubbers. They absolutely need to get them off the point, at least neutralize it to, to stop the inflow of Team Paradigm's points if they want to have a chance. He's getting incredibly now, low. Uh, now I necess sorry to interrupt, but um, I necessarily it. don't agree with what with what uh, Naya did there. He he sort of chased Teldo back. He's back on waterfall now, but he actually chased Teldo to mid possibly maybe trying to get a kill on him or downing on him. I sort of would have let him go there and sort of prioritize getting that point because the Seal Clippers has to realize they're down by about almost 150 points right now. They really need those points. They need every point they can get if they want to come back into this. Absolutely. Do you see Team Paradigm rushing a Lord in the near future? Um, I I wouldn't actually. Um, Lord rushes, at least from what we've seen in the past couple of weeks, generally come out of desperation. Um, I'm not, not trying to be rude by saying that. Um, they generally come out of desperation, and Team Paradigm's in a pretty safe position right now, so unless the scores flip within the next couple minutes, I don't think we're going to see a Lord Rush this match. But we could see it anyway. Because sometimes teams I, do it anyway just to be exactly. secure. Exactly. <laughs> and, and we are watching Teldo here, and Teldo is known to solo that Lord boss, so mm -hmm. it could, we could see him depart and take on the Lord himself. Taking a look at Electro Hex here over at Waterfall Point. Goes down off the point, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, he's running one of the, um... He does miss or Vapor Form away over yeah. to Nepison and Alley. He's running one of the more squishier Elementalist builds. Um, it does have pretty decent survivability, as most Elementalist builds will, but this one's a lot more squishier compared to a usual, like, Scepter Dagger build with a Cleric Amulet, so he's gonna be susceptible to that kind of burst pretty easily. Yeah, Seal Clubbers did actually manage to decap uh, Team Paradigm's only point, but unfortunately, Team Paradigm was able to capture the opposite point, Waterfall. <laughs> sort of flip-flopped. And now we do have we do have a ranger on ranger over here at the uh, quarry. Actually, symbolic on the losing end of it. He sort of yeah. has to play defensively now. First off, the point. He does have his uh, he has his healing spray coming up in just a second, so he's gonna be able to throw that down. And if he's smart, yep, we're gonna see here now. Keep in mind, guys, the combo fields. He just used his sword leap too on Hornet Sting. He was able to jump through that and get himself an additional like one and a half k heal. Actually, Absolutely. And we do see Team Paradigm just going over the 250 mark, halfway up to their. 500 point goal yeah. of winning the game. And they are the only one that controls. This is this is a very stalemated match. Can you agree to that? There's, there's I I would definitely agree. So there's, far, there's not there hasn't been a lot of the time where the points have actually been capped. And I think now for the first time, Team Paradigm actually did just cap middle points. They correctly. did. Yes, I actually missed a couple of the kills there. It looks like Electro Hex and uh, si Sycophan, Sycophan, uh, were unfortunately killed on the point, as well as Nepsan was killed, and Zeph and Teldo both heading over towards Waterfall, and it looks yeah. like Third Date the Thief yeah. is in some trouble. He's this is something that they're good at, though, with um, Seal Clubbers, is that they're good at, at noticing the side points. Um, there's generally been this thing, actually, I've noticed over the past couple tournaments as to where one team will be really good at team fighting, and they'll generally control the middle for the bulk of the fight, whereas the other team will be really good at, like, ninjing and side capping, and they will, um, they'll sort of, they'll sort of hold a lot of the side points, and it really just comes down to who can do either more efficiently and then, like, sort of over dominate into the other team's territory based on that skill level. So, he is, Electra Hex is illusioned uh, over here on on near the base here, and there is a uh, it's pretty significant. Do is this two v two, three v three here? Ooh, we are uh, looking uh, Phantom just it's very, just uh, burst down. <laughs> and does get the stomp? No, he actually miss or no. vapors away. Electra Hex is also right down to Zeph. Oof. And Fenrim actually got rezzed up by the Illusionary, and it looks like Electrohex is going to go down here, unfortunately, for Team Seal Clubbers. Yep, he's going to get knocked out, and I believe... So Fenrim is going to stay alive now. Actually, no, it, it didn't... No, no, his Illusion of Life didn't take off there, so he's going to go down as well here. So they're going to have to rest him up again. And Nepusan actually uh, gets downed on the point, but an immediately res, preventing the stomp. Good job. He does have his heal up, so he should be all right. Taking a look at Teldo on the point here. He does have his heal up as well. And it's it, gonna be this is gonna be a pretty um, tough combo to break here in a two v two dash in Teldo because Teldo's just annoying with his bombs and he's really gonna push it around a lot and then Ashin's that tanky guardian that we all know and love and well in some cases no one hates so yeah not to mention Phantom sitting right off on the high ground over here yeah uh, it, it's looking uh, Team Paradigm did just pass the three hundred fifty point mark they actually could if they wanted to. Uh, divert their attention and go for a Lord kill and get an immediate win. But it, it does appear that they're going to take the much safer route. They've been winning the game so far. They they don't really need a chance uh, diver diverting their efforts at all. So uh, this definitely looks like Team Paradigm is going to be slowly taking this to the victory. Keep in mind, however, that they 
did also knock down the uh, gate over by Waterfall for Blue Team's base, so we could still see it here, because they did take the time out to knock down that gate. They did actually take down a few of their members. Team, team Farmer actually lost a couple of their members in the process, but they did take the time out to knock down that gate, so they may go for it anyway. Um, actually, now that I said that, it's yeah. probably not going to happen, considering that they have a three cap now. Triple cap. Um, rather unfortunate for Team Seal Clubbers. They're really having a tough time getting a hold. Um, it definitely seems like Team Paradigm is, is just... It's a bit more of a solid build, and it's sort of outperforming them here. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely... Both teams are, are very well coordinated, especially with their reses and their communicated efforts. Um, but it does feel like Team Paradigm is slightly a little bit more on top of it. However, this this type of tournament is... It is different. It, it, it's not going to make uh, Seal Clubbers get knocked out of the competition. This, is, this just means that they will be earning less points overall at the end. Yeah. Uh, so this this doesn't mean anything for Seal Clubbers. This this could have just been a bad game, uh, or it could have been a really good game for Team Paradigm. <laughs> and Zeph gets knocked down here. Actually, we are going to see the two members, two members of Team Paradigm. Three members actually just went down. Uh, so Seal Clubbers is going to take middle point here, uh, surprisingly enough. And over here onto Waterfall, it looks like they sort of have a dominance there as well. Um, it. Unfortunately, won't make much of a difference because they also hold Quarry, so unless they can decap that, there's not going to be much of a chance of them coming back into this. I would agree. They only need 10 points. Team Paradigm is just about to take the first game yes. of the Team Paradigm Invitational. Congratulations to Team Paradigm. Yep, there they are. This is them, guys. So, first victory to Team Paradigm. Appropriately so. GG well played is being thrown out. Excellent job. Indeed. I, I suppose right now would